Childhood trauma. It can be fun to recollect about what scared you as a kid. When I was a kid, the gorilla episode of SpongeBob scared my sister and I. While we don't all share the same traumatic memories as a kid, a lot of children seem to have been frightened by a particular episode of My Life as a Teenage Robot. One of the episodes which I have the earliest memory of watching as a kid. The Return of the Raggedy Android. We need to take this step by step. I can't get ahead of myself here. There was an episode which set up the events of the return of the Raggedy Android. As the title implies, the Raggedy Android made an appearance prior to this episode. Raggedy Android was the first half of the second episode of My Life as a Teenage Robot. In this episode, Jenny wants to join Brad and Tuck at a fair, but she can't. Since this is the second episode of the show, Jenny's existence is still relatively secret from the residents of Tremerton. Nora suggests the idea of using an exoskin to make Jenny look like a teenage girl. She doesn't have enough time to make the exoskin look up to snuff, but Jenny is impatient and takes the uncompleted exoskin to the fair. This gives her the appearance of a Raggedy Ann doll, hence the name Raggedy Android. The residents of Tremerton are terrified of Jenny's exoskin and assume that she's a monster, so they chase after her. In the end, Jenny saves Brad Tuck and some other residents of Tremerton from a rogue Ferris wheel, leading to Jenny being cheered on by onlookers. This brought a big change to the series, since Jenny was now accepted by Tremerton, which meant that she could begin attending school in the following episodes. The episode had a good message, as it encouraged kids not to hide who they are, no matter what they look like, even if they're a teenage robot. Fun fact, the Raggedy Android episode was one of the first episodes to have its storyboards written. They didn't even have a final design in mind for Jenny at this point. Rob Renzetti is a huge fan of horror, and having a sort of Frankenstein homage in this episode was definitely right up his alley. But he just had to go further. Later in Season 1, the sequel to Raggedy Android was released, The Return of the Raggedy Android. While the first episode had a fairly innocent message behind it, this one cranked the notch up to 11. This episode covers racism and doubting your identity. In this episode, Jenny is put into a situation where she isn't welcome in Mesmer's, because the owner isn't accepting of robots. Jenny still wants to go there, since all of the teens hang out there. Jenny tries on an improved version of the exoskin, which clings onto her like Venom from Spider-Man. This scene is absolute nightmare fuel for a little kid. It does its job and makes Jenny look like a normal teenage girl. A really attractive one, too. She returns to Mesmer's, gets hit on by several characters, including Brad and Don Prima. Hello, beautiful. I couldn't help but notice you. Would you honor me with a dance? Sure. A space biker crashes the party, and while Jenny tries to stop them, the exoskin holds her back from it. Later that night, Jenny falls asleep and the exoskin lurks over her and takes control of her again. In the morning, Jenny learns that the exoskin has its own conscience, but it still convinces Jenny that she has to be objectively beautiful instead of being unique. It seems to have full control over her at this point. It should be noted that the exoskin was voiced by Grey Delisle, the voice of Azula from Avatar The Last Airbender, but this role isn't mentioned in her Wikipedia filmography. Please fix that, guys. Anyways, Brad expresses how he doesn't like how Jenny acts with the influence of the exoskin, but Don Prima doesn't care at all. This gives a lesson on how shallow people can be as well, something very important for kids to know. When the space bikers attack again, Jenny is put into a position where she's the only one who can stop them. The exoskin doesn't want to let Jenny fight them, so Jenny literally has to fight herself for control. Naturally, Jenny eventually manages to free herself of the exoskin and saves the day. This doesn't change Mesmer's opinion about robots, and he kicks her out again anyways. His usual customers leave with Jenny, and he gets taken over by the exoskin, ending the episode. As an adult, that's not all that creepy. We're all used to Venom, we know how it works. Just imagine a five-year-old kid watching TV, and they see this. Since this episode was so traumatic, it's one of the most memorable episodes to a lot of people. To those who haven't watched any of our videos before, 
you may be shocked to realize that there was going to be a third Raggedy Android episode. In this episode, Brad would have been kidnapped by the Exoskin and threatened to be killed unless Jenny merged with it again. The higher-ups at Nickelodeon weren't very happy about the idea of a hostage situation in their kids' show, so the episode was never greenlit. I can't blame them at all. I don't see any morals coming out of that concept. Just more nightmare fuel. So, did the return of the raggedy android frighten you as a kid? Would you have liked to see the third part? Tell us all about it in the comments below. I've been your narrator, Andre. Thanks for watching. watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a rating. If you want to reach us, leave a comment or check out our other platforms. Links are in the description. Holy crap, is that Stimpy?